Hi friends, welcome back. I am going to work on some cards today for scrapbookingstore.com's um, design team. And we are working with the So Happy Together line from Simple Stories for May 2020. And what I did is I grabbed pieces that I've already cut into because that's how I like to do my card thing. So I have some scraps here that I've already cut into. So I'm gonna try to make those work. And then I also grabbed this sticker sheet because I mean, look at it, it's awesome. So I grabbed the sticker sheet as well as these cut apart cards because there's such great things you can put on cards to layer up and all of that. Like I absolutely love this piece right here and know that has to go on there. So I thought I would create some cards. Now I do have some gorgeous full size, like for example, I have gorgeous full size card bases and all of that, but I did want to take some time to look at these pieces to see kind of where I want to build my cards from. So I thought I would take you along with me, but I thought I'd give you the explanation of what I am doing for this DT project. All right, I'm going to start playing along and I will take you with me. All right, my friends. So what I've done is I've chosen a three by four card for each of my cards and I made a card base for each of my cards. Now I do prefer to make card bases out of pattern paper. I love the look of the secondary pattern paper on the inside. So something to be aware of, like the inside of this one is facing, like there's a, a direction you really wanna have it in. So I have to be aware that it has to be facing up and that's fine. This one is that camera card I liked so very much. And it does not matter how that one faces. Now I have to also decide if I want to ink the edges on these and I probably will and I'll show you why. So this one is just nice and simple. So the only one that I really have to watch the direction with is this one. So that's nice and easy. But one of the reasons why I like to ink things like this is when you use a folder on them, you can see some of the white core and I really don't enjoy seeing the white core. So now I'm gonna ink them all in and I'm going to work on them one by one and take you along with me. Now I love these three by four cards, but I kind of feel like they need like a little contrast bump. And yes, I know I have pattern paper on top of pattern paper on top of pattern paper, but I like that. Now, isn't that so much cuter when you see that little three by four card being your main element a little bit of a different strip of um, of pattern and then it goes on, to, on the card base and you open it up and there's another pattern. I don't know, I love all that. So more is more is more is more for me. So what I did is I went ahead and grabbed those adorable Heidi Swap charms, punched a little hole in the bottom right of my three by four card and attached it. So whoever receives this card can go ahead and use that little charm if they want to detach from the card. I thought it was super cute. And I went ahead also and used a sentiment from that pink paisley sticker set that we got in our upgrades. So the charms and the upgrades that Studio 112, I'm sorry, the charms, the pink paisley stickers, that Studio 112 set of blue sticker gems, those are all parts of the upgrades. So, so cute, so worth it to have that little something extra with some great texture. Um, I'm using a the sentiment welcome home up uh, from the sticker sheet that we received, the 12 by 12. And I thought I'd also go ahead and use this little Heidi Swap epoxy sticker that we got in last month's kit because I looked over, I had it with my goodies, and it's the exact right color that I needed. So why not just pop it on? and use a little leftover stash. I'm gonna do the same thing here where I'm going to pick a pattern that I'd like to back my three by four card and repeat the same process. So look at how great that coral pops off of the navy blue, it is awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and put a charm once again in that bottom right corner of my three by four card. I have to adjust a little bit because I had my paper slightly too low and I wanted to be able to have the charm in the card area, you know, not hanging down below it. And these charms pack such a big punch that it kind of completes the card, like no muss, no fuss, love the way it looks. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I like any of those sentiments from Pink Paisley or 
I have to decide if I want to use the the uh, gorgeous sentiments that are on this 12 by 12 sticker sheet once again I do tend to plow through these sticker sheets I've done only one layout so far used a ton and they have all of these great little tiny word sentiments so you can really get a lot of traction and if you do like to have dimension you can pop a piece here and there up on a little bit of fun foam and it really completes it I think that looks adorable and it makes a cute little card now I did tell you that I was going to go ahead and ink in all the edges on my cards and I just used a Simon Hurley uh, ink you might well you can kind of see it up ahead there or on the upper left of my screen it's a Simon Hurley ink and I believe it's a dye ink and it's in the color wolf it's just a mid-tone gray and it's a really nice neutral to use so a nice little repeat of my process I used the text pattern paper which I absolutely loved put my 3x4 card on top of that and I'm putting this cute little yellow sentiment right across that heart I think it is adorable oh and I forgot to ink it in so I thought we'd get a little tiny bit of ink on it it just makes it that much more cohesive and I also um, once again put a little charm in the bottom I will end up using all four charms on these cards I make five cards so I have to go rogue and cannot cannot make a fifth with the charm but I love the way they came out I think it's like you get a card and give a little gift as well now onto this one this one is going to be on the horizontal same treatment I'll find a pattern paper hopefully a scrap that I can use to uh, to back my three by four card and I will pop that on do a nice little ink around and once again I popped my little um, Heidi swap little tag in the bottom right corner so that is on there I'm loving the way it looks and what do I want to tell you oh down below I'll leave links to where you can get your own kit and the upgrades as well as an affiliate link so if you did want to go through my affiliate link it will help to earn just a little bit of a commission for my channel And if you don't want to totally understand but there will be links down below so you can uh, grab this and play along with us there will also be um, a what will I have on there oh where our Facebook group is so you can come join in on all the fun and have fun with us and share what you did with your kit all that kind of stuff so once again I am taking a little bit of foam to add some dimension to this little word sticker element and I mean it's just cute look at how nice that pale blue looks on top of that aqua so love that so this is my last card and I have these cute little flowers on it it's such a sweet little card and it's one of those things that you can kind of have on anything I'm sorry I'm out of the frame a little bit I I ended up coming in really close this time so that you could see and somehow I got myself out of frame a little bit that can happen sometimes I'll be crafting and I kind of keep scooching along to the side to the side to the side I'm like seriously when I see my footage but you can see what I'm doing I mean I just tend to make cards that are a little bit more simple and I guess sweet you know just nice little sentiment people can tell that they're homemade and yeah it, it is ever so nice to receive a card in the mail I, I enjoy sending them so much I am using this this sentiment right here and it and it looks like it's somewhere between navy and royal but it definitely brings out the blue in that flower and it had me looking at the other uh blue colored elements in this I'm going to bring in a sticker that was on the 12 by 12 sticker sheet it's a set of little florals and it's it keeps the interest going once again so I'm gonna have two things that are popped up on this card and it, it'll bring your eye around the card and make it have just a little bit more of a homemade touch so super fun super cute and it took me I believe 24 minutes to make up five cards and I didn't have an idea of even the way I wanted to approach them before I started so I, I highly recommend with your leftovers from your kit especially if you're not a big um, card maker this kit made it so easy with these cut apart sheets oh and you saw right there I stuck one of the little studio 112 flowers in mixed in with those other flowers so I'm showing you a little bit more of a close-up of my cards 
hope you like them. I think they're very cute. I mean, then again, I made them, but I really do like them. Now, a lot of this kit has some black in it, so those pink paisley stickers can really bring that out and make them look awesome. All right, that's it today. Thank you so much for watching, friends, and I'll be back soon.